Good morning guys from the central coast of California. We are in Cambria and I've been trying to make today's video for a couple weeks now but the goal is to catch it, clean it, and cook it. So we're going fishing. So I went to Walmart and I bought this like $17 rod and reel combo. It even has fishing line, so I'm questioning the quality. And uh, maybe about $10 in terminal tackle. And that's all you really need to catch these surf perch. So what we're looking at here is a Carolina rig. At least I think that's what it's called from my bass fishing days. But essentially I got a sliding sinker right here, a swivel, and then about three feet a liter to an inch and three quarter motor oil sparkle grub motor oil is a very safe color to go with for these surf perch the glitter yeah that's all they had good morning everybody i uh, thought i would say hello while benny's out fishing and kind of update you in terms of where we are and what's happened the last few days and what lies ahead. I think we closed out the last video with letting you know about Ben's grandfather. Uh, he passed away uh, right before the weekend on Friday. And um, we drove from my mom's in, Cal in uh, on the central coast down to Ben's mom's in Hemet. Spent some quality time with mom and then came back up so we could continue our trip. And uh, because of this and switching out the other motorhome, we decided to extend our trip a little bit. Um, talked to Sky River RV and they were gracious enough to give us an extra week so that we don't have to cut things short and not go to some of the places we wanted to go. So we'll be keeping the RV for another week, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so we came back up to my mama's and picked up the RV and headed back up here to the northern part of San Luis Obispo County on the coast so that we could come and do Cambria. This, for Ben and I, this is the best part of the trip. Like we love this part of the coastline and Ben being able to go fishing and uh, just enjoying the quieter beaches, uh, not as many people and uh, very much feeling like we're in nature. So I'm going to take some pictures <laughs> and catch some video of him fishing. The uh, thing he didn't tell you is that Doug also lent him waders, which he doesn't have <laughs> now. And so he's out there fishing in his shorts. As you can see, it's a little chilly this morning, so I bet his legs are cold. fishing gear is working. The uh, glove is working. I keep getting these little hits. And I have a pretty small hook on here, but you can tell it's a hit when your you know, little grub is all kind of crunched down to the bottom. Feet are getting cold. Taking a few uh, splashes up the shorts. But I really want to catch something for you guys. might be one or two couples on the channel who can relate to what I'm about to tell you and it shocks me but Ben doesn't want to go explore Cambria with me he'd rather stay here and fish I am flabbergasted really I'm not uh, so rather than make it a bone of contention between the two of us he's gonna stay here and fish and I'm gonna go explore Cambria and you'll get a little bit of both. I did get the better end of the deal though because I get to take this little one with me. All right guys, time for round two. 
uh, made sure I returned that coffee before I came back down here. Uh, Beck is heading into town and I've switched over to the GoPro Hero 5 Black, a uh, very nice waterproof camera. So I'm not giving up on you guys. The first place I wanted to come out to is about a 10 minute drive outside of Cambria. And it's a place that I came to actually only one time when I was in college with friends. We came out to Cambria and came to a place called Lynn's Fruit Bin. And she has a restaurant in town now as well. But this is the farm and they have a little store out here. The big thing Cambria is known for is alali berries and they make jam and pies and different things out of it so I'm sure we'll see that in town today and here as well. I was able to talk to a guy in the parking lot, he's a local and uh, he got about 15 in the same time period that I was uh, but he was using bait, sand crabs. I don't have bait and he kind of poured his bait into the water when he was done. But he did say, just a little further south down the beach, it, it's really hard to pick up, but there's a little point with some rocks. But the barred surf perch like to hang out on the southern side of the point. When it comes to fishing, local knowledge is so priceless. So this is Lynn's collection here. They have jams and syrups and preserves and this is the olali berry that i was telling you about i'm gonna get some so we can try it i don't think ben's ever had it Ooh, vinegars that's cool this is also something that they're known for is so pretty delicious pies all right guys well i got one it's just far too small to even consider making a meal out of. But I didn't get skunked. Alright, see you later, buddy. Now this next place I want to take you is actually a hotel or a lodge. Um, but they have these amazing gardens. Alright, guys. Another one. This is a uh, better size. Yeah, there's going to be some actual meat on the side of this thing. So Cambria Pines Lodge has over 25 acres of gardens. Jardin de las Marbusas. It's like a secret garden. Seems amazing. Maybe it's because I was a fan of the secret garden as a child, but I love being able to wander through a place that is like the secret garden. Beautiful plants everywhere. Oh, there's a wishing well. Obviously they have weddings here and all sorts of special events, but I like just to walk around and wander through here. There's number two. We have enough for an appetizer. As you can see, it's a beautiful place to visit. All right, I think it might be time to head on. Let's go check it out with Ben and see if he's ready to go. <laughs> well, that's good timing. He said he was gonna watch for the focus, but look, he's right here. Woohoo, we have an appetizer. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Hey, didn't get skunked. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. It was good. You're a little damp. Yeah. Are you cold? No, I'm going to take advantage of the uh, outdoor shower to clean everything off. Good. Well, it may be cheap fishing gear, but salt water can pretty much destroy everything, so it pays to get everything rinsed off. So it's time to say goodbye to the ocean for a while. We are headed inland.
could kind of get used to the RV resorts. <laughs> it is nice being spoiled. It is. Ooh. There's the pool and the hot tub. Oh, there is a jacuzzi. Nice. Yay. See anything we haven't seen before? Oh, I'm sure there's something in there. Which one? I haven't watched this one in a long time. The Great Outdoors. Oh, it's one of my favorites. What's calling my name? is a nice bottle of red wine. You wanna go wine tasting tomorrow? It's a lot of fun going wine tasting when you don't have to drive. <laughs> yes. exactly. That's the key. That, that's my motto. Never drinking Because <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a matter of safety all. and responsibility. Yeah, no. All right, guys, here's our campsite at Wine Country RV Resort in Paso Robles. It is a beautiful site. We have a nice little barbecue, some chairs. I think we're gonna be happy here for a few nights. Okay guys, these are barred surf perch and you know, I would say this would be an average size. They can definitely get bigger. Well, I'm having a hard time remembering if I cut through the ribs or around the ribs when I clean these guys. Cause it has been a really long time and you don't get a ton of meat. Okay, I think I felt the ribs. I think I go above them. Yep, you're watching real life here, guys. At least you know I can actually uh, clean fish. It's just I have not done one of these in a real long time. There we go. That's what I needed. There we go. That one went better. Okay, discard the carcass. And now let's clean this up. <laughs> I was hoping to do a fish fry tonight, but if you've ever done a fish fry, you'll appreciate that it's a fair amount of work. And it's just hard to warrant that kind of work for four pieces of fish like this. <laughs> well, woohoo! Use my hand for size reference. <laughs> Don't eat it all in one bite, guys. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Susie Q's on there and put it in the oven. Are you ready, honey? Okay. Yeah, this is going to be like a meal and a half. Mmm, but it's such a delicate fish. Grab a piece. Been it's, hearing about these for 15 years. They better be good. No, well, they're a lot better fried, and mm. they're a lot better when the fillets are bigger. That's really good, actually. Yeah, it's very delicate. Mm -hmm. I'm picky about my fish, too. That's good. Well, guys, it wasn't much, but we caught it, we cleaned it, and we cooked it. Mm. And we ate it. Yep. Thanks for riding along with us today, guys. There's some adventures uh, coming from Paso Robles, California. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow.